Hello friends and welcome back to Dash of Spices. Today is another air fryer recipe. This is another seafood recipe from Dash of Spices. I'm going to share with you how I made this delicious, super easy cod recipe using an air fryer. And let's begin. What I have here is a wild caught cod fillet. That this was frozen, I just thawed it out and just simply pat this dry using a paper towel or you can just let this sit on a rack when you're ready to use it. You're going to need two bowls and the first bowl you are going to make the um, dry ingredients. Start with one fourth cup of panko breadcrumbs. This is from Walmart brand and also an Italian breadcrumbs. The other one is a panko uh, with Italian as well. So this is a perfect combination. All you have to do is mix them together until they're well Incorporated and to our second bowl. We are going to make the liquid mixture start with two eggs If you don't want the egg yolk You're simply just scoop the egg yolk and just use the egg white if that's what you prefer whisk the eggs And then add a little bit of milk maybe about two tablespoons of milk and whisk to combine and now we're going to add our spices start with garlic salt i mean garlic powder i'm sorry and then the lemon and pepper seasoning from walmart walmart brand is actually good and it's cheaper whisk to combine and then the italian seasoning and add this Mrs. Dash. This is chicken for grilling. This is actually good for any type of meat, even for fish. I'm going to provide the link down below. You can get this at Amazon. And whisk to combine. Whisk all the ingredients until they're well incorporated. We're going to start off coating the fillet with the liquid mixture. Make sure both sides are well coated. All you have to do is roll this into that liquid mixture. Make sure, make sure they're all both sides are covered. And then we're going to roll this into the powdered mixture. This is not for heavy, heavy breading. So if you need some thick breading, so you might want might want to add some flour. But I want this as lightly breaded as possible. Now, while well, all that's set, we're going to place this in the air fryer. The kosori has a fish icon. All you have to do is push that and cook. After 8 minutes, remove the basket from the unit. And we're going to flip this on the other side. And we're going to continue on cooking this on 350 degrees but only for three minutes i also spray this with a little bit of oil just to make it a little bit golden on the outside but not too much just a little sprit that's all you need place this back in the air fryer unit push that fish icon if you have a kasori air fryer it's set to 350 but adjust the time to three minutes and cook after three minutes there is the air fried cod this is actually very easy and super delicious if you like fish or if you want to try a fish cod is the best option because it's not too fishy at all and it's easy to cook the meat is done perfectly it's not overcooked let me show you right here as so i'm going to give this a quick taste as you can see the meat the fish meat is done perfectly it's a little bit crunchy on the outside it's not the same as crunchy when you deep fried it but it's guilt free i hope you're going to give this recipe a try please subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel thank you everyone for watching please come back and see us until next time ciao